Imagine a 15-year-old with the power to reach beyond the classroom and into the heart of NASA, all from his home computer. This isn't a scene from a sci-fi movie. It's the true story of Jonathan James, known in the online world as Comrade. While other kids his age were caught up in the latest video games and school dances, Jonathan was unlocking the secrets of the internet, his curiosity leading him to the gates of the world's most prestigious space agency. He wasn't just another high school student, he was the boy who managed to outsmart NASA's security, a young explorer navigating the uncharted territories of cyberspace. Prepare to be taken on a journey through the life of Jonathan James, the boy who did what seemed impossible, bridging his humble reality with the far reaches of space exploration, all from the click of a mouse. When Jonathan James was just 15 years old, he embarked on what would be his most ambitious project yet, breaking into the computer systems of the U.S. government. In 1999, this teenager managed to penetrate the networks of the Defense Threat Reduction Agency, a key agency responsible for safeguarding the U.S. from threats like biological, chemical, and nuclear attacks. His intrusion wasn't minor. He accessed and stole highly sensitive information, including secret documents and private emails. However, it was his bold move against NASA, America's renowned space agency, that really put him in the spotlight. This feat showed that even the most secure and prestigious organizations were vulnerable to the skills of a determined young hacker. Jonathan James, always on the lookout for a challenging target, zeroed in on a server in Huntsville, Alabama. Little did he know, this server was a part of the Marshall Space Flight Center, a key NASA hub responsible for rocket engine development and maintaining communication with the International Space Station. James skillfully installed malware that gave him control over 13 other computers in NASA's network. He used this unauthorized access to send anonymous emails to NASA employees, ominously threatening to release the confidential information he had accessed. His unauthorized entry allowed him to acquire information valued at about $1.7 million, including crucial source code for the systems that regulate the temperature and humidity inside the ISS's living quarters. NASA remained unaware of this security breach until much later. When they finally discovered it, they had to shut down their entire network for 21 days to deal with the aftermath. This shutdown led to operational disruptions and financial losses of $41,000, covering everything from day-to-day -day activities to the cost of replacing compromised computers. The FBI, recognizing the severity of the breaches, quickly included Jonathan James on their list of prime suspects. James had penetrated what were thought to be impenetrable systems, a feat that defied the expectations of the world's most advanced security protocols. Contrary to what one might expect, James's motivation wasn't driven by a desire to cause harm or chaos. His actions were fueled by a great fascination with computers and a relentless drive to test the boundaries of his skills. He was eager to understand just how robust these supposedly secure systems were and to uncover their hidden vulnerabilities. Driven by this curiosity, James didn't stop with just a few systems. He expanded his reach, daring to breach the networks of international entities like the European Space Agency and even governmental systems in Brazil. His continuous efforts show not just his technical prowess, but also his bold willingness to challenge the security measures of some of the world's most guarded institutions. From a tender age, Jonathan Joseph James was a prodigy in the realm of technology. Even in his early childhood years, he was already delving into coding, an interest that would eventually steer him towards the intricate world of hacking. His family, particularly his mother, encouraged his technological pursuits, though she couldn't help but harbor concerns about the potential risks of the online world. These worries were not unfounded, as James's growing passion for hacking carried the possibility of severe repercussions. James's advanced hacking abilities called into question the perceived security of computer systems worldwide. He catapulted into the public eye when he successfully infiltrated NASA's systems, an act that sparked widespread debate. To some, he was merely a mischievous youngster tinkering with technology. To others, he was a skilled hacker capable of unveiling critical vulnerabilities in supposedly secure systems. Regardless of the varied perceptions of his actions, James continued to push the boundaries of his talents in digital exploration. His endeavors served as a stark reminder that no matter how sophisticated cybersecurity measures may seem, they are never entirely invulnerable. 
The tale of Jonathan James is more than just a captivating narrative. It's a vivid illustration of the ever-growing necessity for stringent cybersecurity in our digitally interconnected world. At TOSS C3, we understand the complexities and evolving nature of cyber threats, much like the challenges posed by young prodigies like James. Our commitment at TOSS C3 is to equip organizations with robust and comprehensive cybersecurity solutions, ensuring your assets are protected against any form of cyber intrusion. We believe in proactively defending your operations so that the story of a breach remains just that, a story. Don't leave your cyber safety to chance. Explore how TOSS C3 can fortify your defenses against the sophisticated tactics of modern hackers. Click the link in the description below to learn more about partnering with us. Reflecting on the story of Jonathan James, it's clear that his cyber exploits had profound repercussions, not only for the organizations he infiltrated, but also for his own life. His bold forays into the realm of hacking ultimately led him down a path many would dread to tread. In the aftermath of his relentless breaches, the FBI intervened, culminating in a raid on his home. Their investigation, tracking unauthorized logins, led them directly to his personal computer. With substantial evidence in hand, they arrested James, charging him with 16 counts of various crimes, including hacking, theft from the government, and computer tampering. James pleaded guilty to all charges, resulting in a sentence of six months of house arrest, followed by six months of probation. Additionally, he was ordered to pay restitution for the damage he caused to the agencies he hacked. The impact of James's intrusion into NASA's systems resonates even today. His actions have seemingly emboldened other malicious hackers to attempt breaches against this esteemed agency. Take, for instance, Zhu Hua and Zhang Jiangguo, two Chinese nationals associated with the APT-10 hacking group, believed to be sponsored by the Chinese government. Their aim was to pilfer valuable data, potentially for developing new technologies and targeting the International Space Station, or ISS. They managed to steal over 500 megabytes of data from NASA including vital blueprints and operational information. These incidents underscore the critical need for vigilant cybersecurity. They remind us that hackers continually seek new vulnerabilities in our systems, compelling us to remain diligent and keep our defenses updated. This leads us to wonder, if you possessed Jonathan James' technical acumen and creativity, how would you have channeled it differently? Could you have made groundbreaking contributions to the world of technology? What innovations might you have envisioned? Share your thoughts in the comments below.